everybody, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to show you a different way to do a glitter ombre. Now I absolutely do not take credit for this method. I saw it on um, another, it was a Facebook page. I saw somebody do a tutorial on their Facebook page. I cannot remember for the life of me who it was. I believe it was um, Flynn Sisters Boutique. So I do not take credit for this, but I just wanted to show you um, for anybody who maybe hasn't seen their page, if you haven't, definitely go check it out. There's a lot of really good content on there. But um, I already have my tumbler sanded and painted white, and I put my um, homemade Mod Podge, as I call it, it's tacky glue mixed with water, a ridiculously long work time, so I really like to use it better than Mod Podge. But um, the two colors that I'm doing this is Kaleidoscope from the Glitter Grind. And I put it in a cup and I mixed a little bit of just Walmart silver in there with it because the picture that the customer sent me, um, the bottom of it, it looked like a really chunky white glitter, but just it looked like a little bit of silver might have been added. So I made kind of my own little mix here. And then the white on top is Winter Wonderland from Misty's Decal Shop. So the way we're gonna do this, I always like to do my top collar first because I, then I feel like um, the ombre looks like it's going up the cup and to me, that's just how I like to do it. So I'm gonna start with the top collar first, which is gonna be the white. And I'm gonna put it on pretty heavy, the top inch or two of the cup. And now I'm gonna hold the cup at an angle and I'm going to tap the glitter onto where I just did it and just kind of let it fall. And the more you tilt your cup, the more it's gonna fall down. And it's gonna be fading there at the bottom where it falls. So it kind of gives you a natural ombre. Tap off your excess glitter. that doesn't fall over. I'm going to put all my glitter back into the container here. I like to use parchment paper to catch my glitter. It's really cheap. You can get like several feet for like five bucks. All right, now I'm going to come in with my chunky mix. I hope I mix enough. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go the first inch of the cup. I don't think I mixed enough, but it's okay. Put it at an angle. You can see this a lot better than the white, how it falls down. Whoops, that turned out good. This is a really easy way. I used to do it with a tea strainer until I found this method and I just, I really, really like it. And surprisingly, I mixed the perfect amount. And I'll pour, of course save that glitter there. I'll put it back in the cup and save it. And as I've done with chunky glitter in other tutorials, you always wanna very lightly push it down so it's laying flat onto your cup because if not, you're gonna have these really sharp, pokey pieces of glitter come through when you do your first layer of epoxy and you're gonna be doing a ton of sanding and more coats of epoxy than you need to. And I see some bare spots that I think could use some more of the white. So I'll go back through and just very, very lightly add some more white. I'm gonna try and tip it up and not ruin it, but that turned out really, really good. I really like the looks of that. I really like how that turned out. This is a really easy way to do your ombres. Really quick too. I feel like it's a lot quicker than the tea strainer method that I learned 
when I first started doing this. So I will save that because that is actually a very pretty mix. Take off some stray pieces of that really fine silver. I want to come back through here and find those bald spots. There wasn't a lot. Just a little bit. Alright, that was really quick, really easy, and I hope y'all enjoy it. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks guys, bye.